welcome back to Delicate Santa Camping. Um, today's video is going to be something I've been doing for the last few days during lockdown. Now, I've took up a bit of wood carving as well as like you all know I'm into my bushcraft, my wild camping and everything. So, I made this. It's a bushcraft spoon. Now, the handle on this, as you can see, is shaped so it fits inside my palm perfectly. That's why it's a bit of a weird shape. But I like these weird, sort of unusual shapes. So there's the spoon I made first. Now on top of making the spoon, I've also made a mortise and petal. As you can see, works a treat. And also, yet again, I've shaped it to go inside my hand. So there is the mortise and petal. I've also made a standard little dish. Getting closer for you. And as well as that, I've made a ladle and, and, and as you can see it's all the handles are all shaped so they fit my hands perfectly now this is what I've been doing now I've really enjoyed doing this actually because it's something that I wanted to have a go at so I thought I'd give it a go and there is the ladle now what I've decided to do in this video today is show you how to make something like that. So what I've done, so I've got a piece of branch, as you can see, and I've split it with my axe down the centre. Now, as you can see, I've drawn out the template of a spoon on one. And on the other one, I've done out a, temp a template for a spatula. Now, I'm going to do the spoon on this video. And if it goes well and people like it, I'll do the spatula next. Now, most of this is going to be done outside in the garden, where it's easier. And I can make a mess out there without having to get wood shavings all over the living room floor. So today we're going to do the spoon. I'll run the video in the in the background. I'll run it quite fast so you can see what, what I'm doing and how I actually turn this. Dropped it. I will turn this into something like that. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode and um we'll get down to it then. I hope you enjoy this and let's make a bushcraft spoon. Well, as you can see, I've already made a start. Now you literally just keep putting your chisel, always work away from yourself. Like so. So as you can see, the bowl is now starting to come into it. And you literally just take off a little bit of a time going away from you like so and then to, to get it out lightly hit it with a little sharp chisel literally tap it don't hit it hard as you can see the bowl has now been carved out i'll still do a little bit more now and then i'll move on to the next part
I'm definitely happy with that now. Now it's time, as that's been cut out rough, to get the mora and start trimming down these bits. What I'm going to do now is use my bushcraft saw to start shaping. Okay. Now I'm going to start to shoot these edge side bits. Also, on this part of the handle here, <laughs> now level them off. so far. Now I'm going to get me more on that now and sort it out. <coughs> now I'll show you again. See this bit here? Just taking out these little rough edges. Now the next part of this now is going to be sanding it down. So I'm going to go and sand that off camera now and then when I bring it back in I'll be able to show you now as I said after you've whittled it as, as you can see it's then just about sandpapering it all down getting it to the shape you want it Right, these are the tools I've used. Chisels, sandpaper, wet and dry, Mora Companion. There's the spoon and the Robins bushcraft saw. simple bushcraft spoon now I know it's not as fancy as the other ones that I've made in that I've already shown at the beginning of this video but this is just a quick one just to show you how it's done and there it is now these have got to be left now for about 10 to 11 days so so they can dry out before you start sealing them um, I'm going to seal the ones I've got using vegetable oil but first of all you've got to let it dry now to let these dry you're better off putting them in a plastic bag putting a few bits of wood shavings in it and tying it off and then changing the bag every week it will help to stop it splitting so there's the bushcraft spoon turn it on to show you And that is what we've made today now if you're interested and want me to make a few more bits I know it's not that fancy that this like one compared to the other one I've done but there it is um, once you've done the bowl there's nothing stopping you from doing what the handle however you want it now on the last spoon if you notice this bit of it here was really thin now if you put too much pressure on that it's going to snap so that's why on this one I made it a bit thicker. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed this episode today on Delicate Sounds of Camping and we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much and goodbye.
We're all falling and we need a place to hide.